This is a true story. It happened to a friend of a friend of a friend of mine. It was back in 63, and if you ask me, it was a very, very dangerous time. Cause love was blind. The boy's name was Frankie, his true love was Annette. It happened on a Friday night, they were parked in his Corvette. Out at Lover's Leap, the place was jammed with cars. A hundred moonstruck teenagers were gazing at the stars. Frankie and his baby, they were so much in love. A hugging and a smooching under the stars above. The radio played softly, the late night lovers bash. Then suddenly the DJ said, We interrupt for this news flash. A man has escaped from the prison for the criminally insane. When apprehended late last year, he had a fridge full of pickled brain. He's a homicidal killer who hunts on lover's lane. Before they caught him last time, 20 terrorized kings were slain. This maniac is running wild, and he has a scary look. Where his right hand hit ought to be, he's got a razor sharp hook. So if you're at the sub races, Stay. The night is young. I'm big and strong, so you don't have to fear. Besides, by now, the hook must be a hundred miles from here. She looked into his big brown eyes. She could not resist. She threw her arms around him, and they kissed and kissed and kissed. Then suddenly a twig snapped. Annette said, What was that? And Frankie said, It's nothing. A dog, a coon, or a cat. But Annette glanced in the mirror, and something caught her eye. A glint of moon on metal that made her scream and cry. Get me out of here right now! I'm not kidding around! Move it, Frankie! Move it fast! Take me back to town! Frankie cranked the car, peeled his tires across the lawn, and grumbled all the way to town. Their evening had been shot. But when they got to her place and he went to her car door, Frankie's face went ghostly white like it had never been before. And Annette said, Frankie, you okay? You look really shook. Then he fainted dead away. So she got out to take a look. But as she opened up her door, she heard a clanking sound. She looked down at the door handle. And this is what she found. Ah! Oh, look. 